So hey guys, just a couple of things uh, for the current update. In writing news, I am working on the Salem Werecats story, which is going well. I mean, I kind of think I hit a little bit of a snag, but fortunately I was able to break out of it pretty quickly. And so far I like where it's going. It's part of the anthology project, which I'll be making an announcement about that soon. I know I've been mentioning that for a while, but I do have some announcements to make today, uh, among other things. And, uh, but that's it for now. Uh, I will say that I am starting to try once again to get some projects moving that, again, will all be brought up when I have an opportunity to do that, and when I'm a little bit more confident of my footing. But for right now, I would just have to say that uh, the cats have gotten a clean bill of health, so both of my cats are fine. and. Let's see, I, uh, this past week, I tried to begin the process to get my name legally changed, and, you know, it, it, it was, it's, I mean, I've, it's more, I guess, straightforward than I thought it was going to be, but there are a couple of steps that I'm going to need to look into before that all gets officially going, because apparently I need a fingerprint card uh, to bring with the petition, which I knew. But I also was under the impression that I could get it done in the same building, which might have been true pre-COVID, but of course, under the current circumstances, I have to find some private company called Identigo, and then I have to go and get that done, so I had to make an appointment for that, which is next Monday. And then I can go back to the district clerk and submit the petition, and I don't know exactly what happens next, but I think at some point, and again, this is pre-COVID, but I would have had to appear in court, I might not, given the current scenario but uh, once the judge signs the order then I think I can take that to public safety and to Social Security and get those changed over and while I'm at the district clerk I'll ask about the DBA for uh, selling my books and all that kind of stuff and then I have to email the copyright office and then I have to talk to the bank and I'm sure there's a few other things that I'm missing but you know it's it's a lot of steps but it's nothing insurmountable it's just you know a lot of different things and of course depending on what your region is and of course obviously covid uh, certain things might be different but that's where that stands right now uh say so i haven't officially started job searching yet mostly just because i decided i kind of want to well for one thing i wanted a break i needed to get some things under control and also i wanted to get the legal name change facilitated while i have the opportunity and you know i'm still pretty good for a while you know I'm still being paid through November so you know there's uh, no immediate concern plus I've also been working with a counselor from a job uh, I don't know if you'd call it a job placement agency or something but just they help you with the job search so I mean things are happening but I'm kind of taking it at my speed right now and uh, I guess I can mention GalaxyCon online which I had the opportunity and this of course was all pre layoff to sign up for a couple of web chat sessions with a couple of uh, Star Trek actors that I've really uh, admired for a long time. And I got to talk to Nana Visitor, I got to talk to Jonathan Frakes and uh, Marina Sirtis, and Marina was absolutely lovely. I mean, she's a wonderful woman. And, you know, I kind of would have liked to have been able to do a couple more, but I wasn't sure if there would be any kind of conflict, like if you did two on the same day i guess maybe each one has their own chat lobby or something maybe you'd have to just like a real uh in-person con get off one line and get on the other because you know most of the time i showed up about a half an hour early and uh you know i'd be position one or two con staff would come check on you to make sure that your webcam works and that your microphone's good and all that other stuff and once they approved you about 20 minutes later or so you would be on with the celebrity and, you know, overall it was pretty nifty. I mean, it's, you know, I definitely miss going to cons in person. You know, I miss seeing everybody. But it's, this is the next best thing. I mean, it's not, you know, you're not being able to stand next to them for a picture. But at the very least, you get to have a couple of minutes of conversation, which you might not be able to have under normal circumstances at a con. Because having been to the Star Trek Las Vegas back in 2018, you know, I uh, if you were lucky, you would get somebody at their table and you could talk to them for a little while. But other than that, it was just kind of like the few seconds when you're walking up to them to take the picture 
or when you're getting an autograph, you might have an opportunity to say something. And for the most part, you know, that's kind of what I did, and it was good enough. But, you know, you kind of have to think about it beforehand, and you don't really get a chance to just sort of shoot the breeze. But with the chat sessions, you know, most of what I had were, were two-minute sessions, and I think Jonathan Frakes, I had four. But it was fun. I mean, it was definitely definitely something I enjoyed, and they give you a recording of the chat afterwards, so you can just keep it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share those on my YouTube channel, but I might email the con and just ask what their policy is on that. They might just let you do it just, you know, as long as your channel isn't monetized or something. Or I don't even know if any of you would be interested in seeing it, but, um, you know, I've shared it with a couple people and it was, it was fun. So, I mean, if insofar as virtual cons are going, definitely something I would recommend, you know, if, if there's no reason life has to stop just because things are going crazy right now. And of course, you know, stay safe, do what you can, and all that other good stuff. And uh, I guess the last thing to mention right now in this particular announcement uh, is Tropical Storm Beta, which is happening outside of my house right now. But we're not really concerned about it because based on the radar that I've been seeing over the last few days, it hasn't really looked like it's been all that severe. So I don't think we really have much to worry about in terms of actual storm damage. I mean, we're going to get some wind, we're going to get some rain, but it's not really uh, anything that concerns me in terms of our safety or even the fact that we might possibly lose power but I tend to think that's unlikely. So we'll see how it goes and I will check in with you guys hopefully sooner than two weeks but if nothing else I have a couple of announcements to make later today and I will check in with you guys when I get to see you next. So take care. Thanks for, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. You can also find me on Twitter and a few other places on the web, or support me via Patreon or Ko-fi. Zebra hugs!